Hey everybody, Cypher Boy here, and today I'm doing the playing the growing up demo. Don't know what to expect, but it seems like it could be something like bit life, so let's begin. Okay, play through the first six years of a kid's life. Okay. Uh hi. Welcome to life. Soon you will be born to two wonderful folks. Want to see them now? Let's do surprise me. Alright, you'll see, see them soon enough. Okay. I'll do leave it to fate. And continue. Dear child, we are so excited to welcome you into this world. There's so much we want to teach you about, like, hmm, let's do compassionate, no man is an island and we hope you'll make lots of connections and extend your hand to those in need. We hope you'll grow big and healthy and also, hmm, let's do smart. There's so many things in the world to learn. We hope your thirst for knowledge never runs out. We promise to do the best job we can as your parents will be caring. We'll guide you to help you reach your full potential and help you out with anything you need. If you have trouble, you can always come to us with it. If you fail, if you fall, we'll pick you up and put you back on track. When you succeed, we'll be there to congratulate you. We can't wait to finally meet you. We wonder what kind of person you'll become. What a lovely letter. Let's not make them wait any longer. It's time for your big arrival. You have just been born and your journey through life awaits. But first, it's, it's time to choose a name for yourself. Hmm. Do the channel thing. Oops. I forgot my caps lock is on because I've been working on the planner to sell. Confirm. As you grow, continue to grow, and each turn your goal will be to learn new skills. Each skill requires you to have enough knowledge points in order to learn it. You have enough knowledge to learn crawling. Okay. It's time to practice. Okay. Schedule. Build one of their schedule slots. Okay. Two more. Here we go. No, you fall. Okay. Large one time bonus. Okay. Finish. Come look, I think Cypher is going to crawl. Uh, crawl forward. Okay. That's the way. Okay, new skills available, walking and talking. In each turn you will get a little bit older. Okay, H. Okay. Don't have enough points. Five attributes. Okay, they're at the top here. To lower the knowledge cost of a skill, simply gain more of the attribute it's tied to. Okay brain map. Okay, so uh, I guess talking is the thing to do, followed by walking, talking, um, let's see, trying to grab as many as I can. That was a good one. Um, ok, 
Okay, there we go. Okay, let's see. Knowledge points. Uh, where's the points at? <laughs> oh, here it is. Up at the very top to 80. Okay, so I guess I have to mark both of them. Okay. Uh, let's do building towers. There we go. Uh, play with parents. There we go. Uh, got three things, so let's do... There we go. Nah. <laughs> okay. Look, Cypher's about to say something for the first time. Cypher, come on, you can say something. Say mama. No, no, say dada. Da. Uh, say what you want. You mutter a long string of sounds about the way you're feeling and your hopes and your dreams. Was that a word? I think so. What word was it? No idea. <laughs> It's funny. Uh, okay, so let's do this one. It has the most things around it. Okay. Uh, imagination. Five more, so let's do that one. Okay, there we go. There we go. Not. Parents are playing with you. Let's play our favorite game. Uh, that one. A rousing game of peekaboo fills you with joy. Oh, I wish I could feel this kind of joy again. Don't like a good game of peekaboo? You lost that spark, dear. Okay. Now on your attributes have a growing bonus. The growing bonus will increase your attributes every turn by the specified value. Oh, um... Oh, two years old. It's at the bottom left corner. Okay, let's do... Brown map, I suppose. Um, let's do... I guess I can... Mm, never mind. To memory. There we go. Not enough points now. Okay. There we go. It's almost time for preschool. You will soon face new challenges. Until then, learn and practice as much as you can. You can check your progress in the skill tree window. Uh, oh, here it is, at the, right there. Okay. Talking. Okay. Okay, these are logs. Let's go back. This is an interesting game so far. Okay, there's... <clears throat> okay, that was a large amount. Seek. There we go. 
Um, let's do that one. Don't have enough, do I? Nope. And then... I guess... That one. There we go. And not enough for that one yet. Let's be sociable. That. Okay, there we go. New skills. You are now going to preschool. You will spend your mornings here and go back home in the afternoon. You need to take care of your mental health. The more relaxed you are, the more skills you will be able to, res to schedule. However, if you overwork yourself, you won't be able to learn anything new, and some of your scheduled slots will be lots. Okay. Huh. Oh. <laughs> Got it. Okay. Um. Let's see. There we go. I got a lot of them this time. There we go. Awesome. Now, let's see. Schedule. Okay, so let's count to ten. Puzzles. Do two of each. Fail. Fail it again. And again. At least you got one right. Okay. Um, and the exam. So let's do. Okay. Exam readiness, pretty low. Each new location contains new actions to perform. Okay. Fail it again. Um, let's do the brain map again. Maybe that'll help, along with intelligence. There we go. Um. Memory, imagination. Ah, uh, okay, so. There we go. Didn't get much. Hey kiddo, check this out. Your parent is putting a glass of clear liquid with an egg inside. Yesterday I put an egg inside this glass of vinegar. They take it out and put it in their hands. What do you think is going to happen when I drop it? Um, bounce. Is this a trick question? Is it going to bounce somehow? Well, let's find out. If you let go of the egg, it falls down on the ground, but you, to your surprise, it doesn't break. Wow. Surprised? The shell is dissolved in vinegar, and all that's left is a soft membrane. Isn't science fascinating? If you study a lot, you will learn about a lot more interesting wonders like this. Okay. Ah, how do you fail cartoons? Are they so boring you fell asleep or something? Okay, so let's do schedule. Uh, count to ten. Watch cartoons, jigsaw, slide. Okay. Fail. Fail it again. Oh. Four years old now. Okay, let's see what we have. Um. Uh. 
Okay. What was the bubble thing? I wasn't paying attention. Uh, learning the alphabet. That's pretty important. Oh, I didn't notice. There we go. Brain points. Oh, it's like three points. That's pretty cool. Ah, uh, still pretty good though. The moment you come through the door. All right, hot shot. The more you take, the more you leave behind. What am I? Uh, I'm gonna say time. Are you time? Wrong. I'm footsteps. Now, what is it that belongs to you, but is more used by others? Um. Let's see, patience. Let's try, but no, it's actually your name. Ah. <laughs> Keep training your mind and you'll figure it out next time. Now asleep again. Okay, let's see. Learn the alphabet. Jigsaw. Counting and then slide. Got one right. And two. Nope. Writing. Okay, so. Let's do. And one more. There we go. Let's see. I need to get as much intelligence as I can. Uh, oh, that's cool. Um, more intelligence, please. Okay. Not enough, but let's see. Writing numbers. There we go. Uh oh, exam. Tap the attributes to collect them. Each tap collects the descent. Okay. Okay, let's see. Hmm. Let's do. Pretty good with these type of games. What? Got an F. I must not have been paying attention on something. Five years. It's time to take your education up a notch. Okay. Um. Okay, so. There we go, let's see. Hex points. Okay, action points. Okay, what's that? Charm. Um. I should save up for the writing though, and these other two. Okay, kiddo, we need to talk. Is everything okay? So we've been talking with each other, and now we're talking to you. Remember, there's an outside. There's clubs, sports, the extras, they can really enhance your life. <clears throat> this is about me going outside for? Yes. We just have your best interests at heart, kiddo. Okay, say so it, think about it. Kids today don't spend time, spend enough time outdoors. Okay. 
Okay. Um. Why don't you go play in the backyard or something? Okay. Uh. Hmm. Many gift categories. Okay. Huh. Okay, um, guess I'm supposed to pick something up. Let's do modeling kit, maybe? Building models, um, snakes and ladders. Okay, there we go. Um, Let's do polo shirts. Oh, you can change it. That's pretty cool. I like that the most. I like the other colors. Okay. Let's go back. Um, still far asleep. Okay, expectations. Um, got one right, I guess. Let's do slide. See if that works. Okay. Fail. Fail. Fail again. Okay, let's do writing. There we go. Memory's good to have. Okay. Mm, let's do an imagination, memory. Three brain points, that's good. Um, hmm. Let's see. Okay, there we go. There's a lot of fun to be had after the school is over. So many possible games to play. Today one of the boys seems to want to play with you and some weird scruffy girl you haven't seen before. We can play something together, cowboys, doctors. Maybe someone is in danger and someone else saves them. Yeah, that sounds good. They both look at you. What do you think we should play? Uh, superheroes. The classic. I reckon the lady is trapped somewhere and gets saved. Why does the lady have to be trapped? Why can't a man be trapped? I think that's just how it works. You point to the girl. Well, in that case, we need to save you because we're the boys. The girl looks angry. Fold your arms and sulk. Seems stupid to me if that's how it's meant to work. The story you all play out is very dramatic and exciting. And even the girl starts to enjoy her safe after a while. She is thoroughly saved by you and the boy and the fiery monster is dead. You all cheer and then the boy thinks again. How is it meant to end? I think they kiss normally, the hero and the lady. You all look at each other and laugh. Ew. Yeah, ew. Gross, huh? Instead, you decide that the hero, his helper, and the lady have a party. It was a fun game. Okay, uh... Hmm. Uh, not enough. 
Okay, let's go. Finally got it right. Okay, there we go. And um, okay, schedule. Let's do writing numbers. Writing. Um, let's do writing again. Okay. Goes available. Cannot do it yet, though. Okay. Let's see. Do that one. Hope that helps. in the long run. Ah. There we go. Go home. After the school is over, the three of you meet to discuss today's adventure. Okay, so this time the lady can be... Wait, I had an idea. The girl holds up a hand and you both listen intently. I want to be the hero today. She points a finger at the boy. And I want to save you both this time. You ought to think about it. But I'm a boy. Uh, let's do the first one at the top. Maybe as it's a, just a game, it's okay. Yeah, I mean, it's not fun to never get to be the hero. The boy looks at you both the knots. Yeah, okay, I don't mind. It might be fun to be saved this time. Decision made you asked it to work, creating a dangerous adventure. Both you and the boy do a good job of screaming and being captured by monsters from space. Oh no, they caught you and put you in a different trap. Instantly you run to the bush as the boy hides underneath the tables. Uh save the other kid first. You stand in a hero heroic pose as best you can. Save him first, I'll be fine. The girl looks at you with admiration. You're so brave, I'll be back. Yes, we'll both come and save you next. Hurry, I can't hold off for long. You watch the girl save the boy from beneath the table just before it explodes. Then the pair of them charge to where you are. Help the monsters, they're back, they got me. Hold on, we'll save you. Okay. <clears throat> okay, let's... Don't know if you can hear me. Hmm. Okay, um... Oh, he's six years old now. Let's see. Schedule. Wait, he already has that maxed out. Okay, there we go. Alexandra, you are reading about a red balloon and a blue balloon. Alexandra, go for it. Go for it. Uh, the sound of a teacher's voice distracts you. So, Alexandra, you bring me that doll right now. You give up pushing the book away in a huff. 
You see this scruffy girl emerge from behind a shelf putting a doll. I didn't mean to. In her hands is a doll from a toy box, or what's left of it. What happened? She wanted a haircut, it was too long and it got in her face. The teacher takes the doll and a pair of safety scissors from Alexandra. Alexandra, why can't you just play normally with dolls? Tea parties, fancy balls, dress them up. She didn't <laughs> She didn't want to dress up fancy, she's a wrestler. Oh for the teacher walks away, leaving the girl looking sheepishly at you. It's boring in here. I heard some kids are doing sports in the gym. You wanna go play with them? I don't know, they didn't ask us. So what, we can go and play their game. Way better than this. You look at the book in front of you, maybe red balloon and blue balloon can wait. Okay, let's try that and see. You think they'll mind? Cut. We'll make their game way better. A group of kids are kicking a ball around the gym space. Their sneakers squeak on the shiny floor. It's not quite soccer, but they're having fun. Hey, we want to play with you. Nah, this is our game. You play on your own. There are only two of us. We can't play soccer with two. And you cannot play soccer. Girls are rubbish at sports anyway. As the boy looks away, your friend's face turns red with anger. I bet I'm better than any of you, and if you want to find out, then let us play. <coughs> Pour it on my throat, it hurts. Eat a drink. I think we should go. This is their game. They don't want us to. The soccer ball was close. One of the players starts to run for it. Not wanting to miss this chance, Alexandra throws a mighty kick. The ball flies hard right into the face of the running child. Oh no, I didn't mean to. I didn't. His nose is bleeding. Why did you do that? <coughs> Defend. If you just let us play, that wouldn't have happened. If your friend wasn't so clumsy, that wouldn't have happened. <clears throat> well, your friend ran at the ball. I wasn't kicking it at him. Go back to your fake house and spot stop butting it. You don't really understand the words, but Alexandra looks upset suddenly. I... The sound of an approaching teacher stops all of you in your tracks. Um... Uh, failed. Okay. Uh, let's do spelling. Um, there we go. Got that one. There we go. You come home to find your parents waiting for you. Kiddo, we need to talk. What's going on? Look, we've been talking and we think, we think, you need to work less. You spend far too much time on schoolwork, homework. You need to take some time for yourself. Enjoy being young. I'm having plenty of fun. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I am, jeez, you two are so judgy. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you can feel the judgment radiating, radiating through the wall even after you go to your room. Okay, uh... Hmm. Okay, there's that. Hmm. 
Not sure. There's supposed to be other options here, but um, let's do that one. Let's do skills. Okay, and then slide. Now, your school has sent you onto the park. Everyone is, is yeah, everyone is very excited to be out of the building, especially Alexandra. I love outside. This is so much better than school. You hold up your sketch pad. They're still kind of at school. Trees are hard to draw. They really are. But if I can help you, let me know. I think I'm managing, mate. Thank you. She gives you a lopsided smile almost admiringly. You're definitely my number one rival. What's your rival? She chews her lip, taps her pencil on the pad in front of her. I think it's like... Someone who makes you good at things. You're better at some things than me. So it makes me want to get better to beat you at them. Well, you must be my number one rival too then. The pair of you smile as you continue drawing. As you're all packing up and getting ready to leave, Alex gets excited. She's pointing at a narrow word part of the rib but not noticing a boy watching. Do you think you can jump that? I don't know. I think I could. I heard that the reason this is called Ghostwater Park is because a kid tried to jump and drowned in the river. Is that true? Around you kids are picking up their bags and starting to walk. <coughs> Following a couple of teachers. Don't know but that kid wasn't as good at jumping as us. Yeah, that's probably why they're a ghost now. And they're angry, which is why they haunt this park now. Skeptical? I don't think that's true. I heard a different story about this park. But anyway, I don't think we should try to jump. It looks a long way. Alexandra puts her hands on her hips and puffs out her chest. Okay then. I dare you to jump across the river. There's a hush in the air. The magic words have been spoken. And it, Alexandra knows it. You and the other child look at each other. Dare you? Don't do it. No. You step back from the river's edge, suddenly aware of how far the teacher is. If we're going to be left behind. We should probably follow them. As you say the words, the other child stares at the river on shore. Yeah, we don't want to be left behind, I guess. But what about the jump? Sorry, maybe we can do it another time. Yeah, another time, maybe, or... Alexandra stares at the river, a sulky look on her face. Of course, she finally sighs deeply and picks up her bag. So boring, Cypher. She calls over her shoulder as she runs toward the living class. But I can bet I can catch up first, though. You shrug and start jogging after her, barely noticing that the boy is following you. Okay. So that was an interesting game, so uh, hope you enjoyed. <laughs>